All right, what's going on guys? Willis here, back with another Genshin Impact video. Real quick, before this video begins, be sure to support this video with a like and leave a comment down below. I'm running a bunch of Primo Gem giveaways. Whenever my videos reach over a thousand likes and stuff like that, we do giveaways in the Discord, discord.gg slash Willis. Uh, the monthly giveaway as well for the 10,000 uh, Primo Gems are ending soon as well. You can enter that by just simply joining the Discord, but yeah. Just support the video with a like, leave a comment down below as I occasionally pick winners from the comment section. And yeah, let's jump into the video. So this is pretty old. Honestly, there's a bunch of guides on how to do this, but I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys because I've been doing this a lot on stream and it's it's really freaking fun to do. Essentially, you can pretty much crit for like 200k uh, using, I guess, like Hydra characters and Pyro characters. And it's really fun to do if you guys haven't uh, been trying this yet or if you have any of the characters on screen right now. So there's a few things I guess you kind of want to make this work. Now, I'll probably miss I'll probably miss some things. So you guys can just comment down below whatever I miss. Um, but yeah, I guess to get the most damage possible, I'm using uh, Tartaglia. Um, I've seen people do this with uh, Diluc. Um, you need Bennett. Bennett is the number one reason why this actually works. Uh, Sucrose. Um, Sucrose obviously gives the swirl effect with the Viridescent uh, set. Uh, also Barbara. Barbara is actually buffing the damage of Charles. So essentially what we're doing is we're using a bunch of buffs to basically uh, buff up, I guess, Child Tartaglia to do like insane damage on his ultimate. So that's pretty much all the characters you need if you're using Child. Um, if you're using like a uh, Pyro character, like... Uh, D Luke, I'm assuming you can just use like a another character, but this is how I do it. So as for like artifacts and stuff like that for Bennett, as you know, if you guys play Bennett, the only thing that really matters on Bennett is his level and his weapon. So as long as you have like max weapon on Bennett and max level, he's going to be doing a lot of damage, which is coming from his ultimate. So his ultimate, if you don't know what it does, it's Fantastic Voyage. He puts down a big circle sort of AOE. You pretty much get an attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack. So this isn't really affected by any of his artifacts. So his artifacts, honestly, you can use whatever you want. I just put HP for some healing and stuff like that. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that to buff the damage. Damage comes from his level and his weapon. So the base attack on his weapon. Next up, we're using Sucrose. Now Sucrose, uh, what she basically does is she's going to be giving elemental mastery to our other characters by using uh, the artifact set, uh, this set here, the Viridescent Veneers set. Now what this does with the four piece, this increases swirl damage by 60% uh, and it also decreases the opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused in the swirl by 40%. Now basically how we start off is we put some hydro on him because we're going to be doing hydro damage with our ultimate and then what we do is we swirl with sucrose. This basically decreases the enemy's uh, elemental resistance to Hydro by 40% for 10 seconds, and this is huge. Um, so you need that four piece set if you can, you can farm it pretty easy. It doesn't need to be like full five stars, honestly. Um, my Sucrose is level 60 and she has like 283. I've seen people with like 600, 1000 even elemental mastery. Uh, her weapon, I'm using the Sacrificial Fragments just for elemental mastery because I haven't really been upgrading her artifacts. As you can see, they're all like zero. The only one I have upgraded is the Witch's Heart Flames, which has a 91 Elemental Mastery. And then finishing up, we have uh, Barbara. Now, the cool thing about Barbara is uh, with her Constellation 2 Vitality Burst, this decreases the cooldown of Let the Show Begin by 15%. Um, during the ability's duration, your active character gains a 15% Hydro Damage bonus. So if you can get anything that buffs your Elemental Damage, mine is obviously the Hydro for Child. This is really good. Now, Obviously, Barbara as well. What is good to Barbara? You can actually get this, The Thrilling Tales of Dragon. This is a three-star book. Now, I've actually got rank refinement five on this. Now, what does that do? So, basically, whenever you switch characters, the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 48% for 10 seconds. So, this is basically what I do. Um, I'll finish my rotation. I'll pop my E, and then I'll just switch uh, to child here. And you can see his attack is being buffed by Barbara. We go up to like 2,622, so yeah, it's pretty nuts. So as for my child artifacts and stuff, try and get as much crit rate and as much crit damage as possible. I'll be honest, my child isn't really that great. Like I've seen childs that are 10 times better than mine, but I've got 48% crit rate and 104% crit damage. 
If you can, try and get this to like 140. Uh, I'm still able to like crit for 200k using this, so it's still pretty insane. Uh, as for artifacts, I'm not actually running the Hydra set. I'm using the Noblest Oblige set for the Elemental Burst Damage 20%, and I'm using Gladiators. Um, I would probably replace my Gladiators with like the Hydro Damage Bonus if you can. Uh, that's the only like improvement I would do, I guess. And then obviously get more crit damage. I haven't really been lucky with uh, artifacts, unfortunately, so I don't really have that high much uh, crit damage because the damage comes from doing a crit and then the crit damage uh, actually just multiplying it. So it's just huge. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much how you want to start off the damage. So in this instance, obviously we're using the Pyro Regis. Fine, now you can eat food if you want. It doesn't matter if you're not aware as well. The uh, potions, they actually stack on top of food. So maybe if you want to do an extra bit of damage, pop a potion and then pop like an Adeptus if you really want to hit like big numbers. Bear in mind as well, we are in world level 7. I am AR 51. So being able to one shot these bosses is pretty insane. But yeah, let's just show the skill rotation and you guys can sort of copy it and how it works. What makes this really, really powerful uh, by doing this is the vaporize effect. Now, vaporize is when water meets pyro. It will essentially amplify the uh, hydro damage that is hitting it and it will do more damage. Now, here's the rotation you want to use. So, obviously start off and destroy the little bulb. I normally just do charged attacks on my child. This will basically just destroy the bulb and then the plant will actually fall down. Now when the plant falls down or whatever enemy you're attacking, you can honestly use this to just clear adds if you really wanted to. After you've done a bit of hydro damage, you want to basically infuse this hydro damage with a swirl by using sucrose. This will decrease the enemy's resistance to hydro and also give you 50 elemental mastery to child because he is hydro. After you've swirled the enemy, what do you do next? You then need to pop your Bennett ultimate. Now, obviously make sure you hit the enemy so you apply the pyro status. This will give everybody in the party a huge attack buff based on Bennett's base attack. From here, I normally switch to Barbara, and then when I'm on Barbara, I'll pop her E ability, giving a child more hydro damage. Make sure you walk away so you don't proc vaporize. Obviously, the enemy will still have pyro from Bennett, so you don't want to proc it with any hydro yet. Uh, walk away, use your Barbara E, switch back to child, go in your melee stance, and then use your ultimate. And it should result in a massive crit with massive crit damage. And it's honestly that easy. Now, it may take you a few tries just to remember the rotation and stuff. It definitely took me a few tries on stream the other day. As I wasn't aware, I was actually proccing Vaporize by just switching to my melee stance. It's just small stuff like that you got to be aware of. So it's pretty much a combination of just proccing Vaporize with as much damage and debuffing the enemy as much as possible. And it can get really fun. I've seen really huge numbers. I've seen numbers in the millions with these like insane AR-55 builds and stuff like that with Diluc. Uh, Child is a really, really good character for this because he has huge damage on his melee stance ultimate. But yeah, experiment, try stuff, and who knows, you could do just way more damage than you can see in this video. Uh, but yeah, jump in the Discord, guys, if you're new to the channel, discord.gg slash Willis. Um, we do a bunch of just Genshin stuff, looter shooter mainly. Um, people think I'm just a Genshin channel, but honestly, I just cover whatever I play and you guys seem to like it. So we've sort of just been sticking with that. Uh, also, I stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Willis Gaming TV. We have a cool system where you can actually earn Primo Gems in Genshin Impact from simply just watching the live stream. It's a really cool system I added. Um, there's only a unique, or not unique, there's only a certain amount of redeems you can do every week. So uh, we have stuff like 980 Primo Gems. Uh, we have battle passes as the rewards. So it's really cool. Uh, jump on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Willis Gaming TV. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if I honestly missed anything out, just let me know in the comments section. Um, I'm sort of just getting to the point now where I'm sort of happy with some of the builds I have. And uh, I guess I'm comfortable to show you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.